price variance and we're going to have the quantity variance. So in order to do this, we'll take a look at it kind of graphically here or in a chart format. And then we'll look at a formula, which will be slightly less, um, you know, a few less calculations here. So we're going to start this off. We're going to be on the price variance. We're going to start with the first part of that, which is we're just going to recalculate the actual costs. So we're going to have our little formula here. This stands for actual hours times the actual rate. And so we're just basically taking these numbers and recalculating them. So we have the actual hours, which were here. We got the actual rate here. If we multiply those two out, then we get this number here. So we're just recalculating uh, that number. We're going to do the same thing for the standard. So now we got the standard hours and the standard rate, which is, of course, just these numbers over here. So we're going to take the uh, 270,000 times the standard rate of $14 even, and that's going to give us the 3780000 Now, again, if we just took the difference in there, that would be kind of like our flexible budget compared to what actually happened. So if we just took the difference, it would be that 136250 which is, of course, the difference we calculated up here. So our goal now is to break that down into its components, those two components being the rate variance, the difference due to the different rates here, and the efficiency variance, the difference due to the number of hours that actually happened compared to what we budgeted to happen. So if we do that, then we're going to have this 